Welcome back everybody, it's race week, brand new video on my channel, that time again, a uh, new video in the series, I did miss uh, Italy unfortunately, uh, I've just been busy with all my uni work, I'm nearly done, I've got one more um, assessment left and I'm done for the whole year, um, got one more year to go and that's the dissertation, uh, which is kind of surreal. Anywho, a new video where we preview the circuit ahead of the race weekend, or ahead of the race, um, should get by before the whole thing of Bob. Uh, we're racing in Miami, a brand new track, uh, Miami, Florida. New circuit with three DRS zones. Uh, no one has a lap record, so I wonder who will get it. A uh, new race week means a new challenge. Can Max keep scoring points to defend his title, or will Leclerc just run away with the championship? Because, you know, Ferrari and Leclerc have been dominant for the whole season so far uh, it's the formula one crypto.com miami grand prix 2022 and hopefully you learn something about this track and enjoy the video so let's see some information about the track it's the miami Aut international autodrome um the first grand prix this year 2022 57 laps 57 laps um one lap of the circuit is 5.412, I'm looking at the whole <laughs> information. Um, so therefore making the race distance 308.326 kilometers. No lap record, like I said. Um, it's the first time they're on the track. Um, so making this F1 debut in May 2022, the Miami International Autodrome is a temporary circuit, but one designed to have a permanent feel. Set in the Hard Rock Stadium complex in Miami Gardens, yes, Hard Rock Stadium, to the NFL's famous Miami Dolphin franchise, the track is the culmination of a developing process that stimulated no less than 36 different outlets. Before settling on this 1910 lap that provides street circuit vibe, not similar to, not dissimilar to Melbourne's Albert Park circuit. And the first Grand Prix, like we said, is 2022, this weekend, joining its Texan counterpart in Austin to become the second US race on the calendar. Second. And we're going to get three next year from Las Vegas. Three races in the USA. Um, it's the 11th different American venue to host a round of the F1 World Championship. And what is the circuit like? It's a street track. Spectacular. With the Hard Rock Stadium at its epicentre. The 5.41 kilometre layout will feature 19 corners. Three straights, potentials for three DRS zones, and an estimated top speed of 320 kilometers an hour. Holy, that's fast. There are elevation changes too, main one found between 13, turns 13 and 16, with the track heading over exit ramp and under various flyovers across uneven ground. The turn 15 and 15, 14, 15 chicane, meanwhile, has an uphill approach with a crest in the middle, then drops down an exit. Why would you want to go? Well, the Hard Rock Stadium, where it's mainly set, the track is centred around, uh, knows how to put on a show. It hosted six Super Bowls, two Baseball World Series, and the numerous rock concerts. And it put out the Hard Rock Track, designed to encourage close racing while meeting the highest safety standard, obviously, uh, show fire winner for spectators. Then there's the uh, city itself, Miami. Famed for its sun sandy beaches, Art Deco vibe, vibrant multiculturalism and rich sports heritage. Um, heritage. Um, it's an essential destination for those visiting the Sunshine State. Where would it be the best place to watch if we do go? Well, when you're viewing this, it's hard to go wrong. It's fact, you can walk around the top deck of the stadium and see every corner of the track, which is kind of cool. Um, for the best passing spots, a seat near turns 1, 11 and 17. 17 um should put you in the thick of the action there you have it that's the whole information about this week's track uh, it's gonna be interesting so far we had fp1 and 2 at the time of recording fp3 is at 6 and i'll be doing a quality watch along on my twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash nash vlogs 24 um at 8 30 yes 8 30 with it being usa the time difference isn't that racist? Well, for us, say I play, it's not that bad, though. Um, FP1, we have Leclerc going fastest with a 1 minute 31. Russell P2, though, which is interesting to see maybe 
the Mercedes is coming back into play. Um, so Leclerc, Russell, Verstappen, Perez, Gasly, Sainz, Albon and the Williams, P7 and the P FP1. Uh, Hamilton's LP8, Magnussen, Haas, P9 and Ricardo P10 for FP1. For FP2 is Russell first. Russell goes quickest. 1 minute 29.938. Yes, Russell and the Mercedes is faster than FP2. Like lesson again. Uh, Leclerc second, Perez third, Hamilton fourth, Alonso and the Alpine fifth, my boy Lando P6 and FP2, so hopefully he's decently there. Gasly Alfatari seventh, Joe Guanyu eighth, the Alonso teammate Ocon ninth, and Magnussen finishing the top ten. So it's going to be interesting what qualifying will be. Um, so if you join in, hope you enjoy the video, subscribe if you've got more. I'll be trying active over the next few months because I'm now on summer break um, to bear with. And check my streams on Twitch. Might be active-ish on there. Maybe be mobile streams or be doing my VTuber quite watch along today. Um, so look out for that. And remember, be you. I still away go.